Retargeting with Google Ads has changed completely and in this video, I want to go over the new way of retargeting which we're currently using to scale e-commerce brands. But before we deep dive into the newest Google Ads strategy for retargeting, let's for us understand how the Google Ads retargeting side of things even works. Because with Facebook ads, with TikTok ads, retargeting is fairly simple. It's as simple as just creating an audience list, creating a retargeting list, and then targeting that specific list within a Facebook ad set. That's pretty much it. But with Google Ads, there is no interest targeting to begin with. You can't really go in and and tell the Google Ads campaigns what to target. So if you're running, first of all, Performance Max campaigns, you want to understand that a Performance Max campaign is inherently designed to do retargeting along with cold traffic. And if you haven't done the following, if you haven't gone to the settings section of your Performance Max campaigns and you haven't just chosen this campaign to show up for the new customers, then a lot of this campaign and its budget is going towards retargeting purposes but it's not just going to do this on its own because if you don't do anything else this is only going to target the individuals that come through this campaign alone not everybody else within your store not every other campaign so in order to battle this the newest way of retargeting involves you going on over to the tools and settings section and under shared library going to the audience manager section and from here you need to do the following you need to create a few audiences which are gonna run in the background within this section only and they're going to basically be data points and trigger points for the algorithm within the performance max campaign itself and it's fairly simple as you can see right here we have already done that with various different audience segments themselves so for example right here we have done it for all visitors all website visitors without any types of purchases done all website viewers in the last seven days the cart abandoners so on and so forth we have even added things like customer list and you want to do this for all of the potential website visitors and all the other parts of the segment as much as possible and what i mean by this is you want to be targeting those people who went to the card page who went to a specific category page who went maybe to the home page and you want to do this individually because each data point from each individual within each audience here it's different and it's different from each other so what the performance max campaign will do once you start adding this and for example let's say you create something for add to cart in the last 90 days and you just go ahead and don't not change anything else pre-fill options it should be as it is description you don't really need to do anything here but once you just give this a name and for example you just create this what's gonna now happen is your performance max campaign it's going to start going through these audiences within the audience manager section and it's going to start trying to find people to retarget from these and it's going to do this on its own you don't have to do anything extra for it and you don't have to do that here individually just step number one ensure that for customer acquisition you have not checked this box here because if you go ahead and check this box then it's going to cause a bit of extra problems where this box what it does is it only lets you bid for new customers only and as you can see even with this it tells you to define an existing customer list first in order to choose this so you need to first and foremost create that audience list of all the potential audience segments which you can think of and this performance max campaign will start targeting them but let's say you don't want to go that route let's say you would do it some other way where you want to keep the performance max campaign only for new customers and you want to create a brand new campaign just to retarget well in that case you will have to start using more of the standard shopping side of things and the way to do that is fairly simple as well what you want to do is and essentially you want to go inside that standard shopping campaign which you just created and from that standard shopping campaign on the left hand side go on to the audiences section within audiences you have the ability to add or edit audience segments if you don't have any audience segments already it should say add audience segments and essentially what you want to do is you want to create those audience segments if you haven't already shopping cart abandoners people who try to check out but didn't purchase etc you want to go one by one through this list you want to choose as many as possible so that they go on this right hand side column and then you want to click targeting here you don't want to choose observation 
you want to choose targeting this means this audience is the only audience now which this campaign will go towards there will be no other audience segments that gets targeted anymore and this is the perfect way to retarget it because this eliminates any cold traffic from this campaign and it only starts showing your ad to these individuals within these audience list and ideally this is the second way of retargeting nowadays we're using the first kind of approach for a majority of the brands we're handling under my google ads agency or marketing but give the first one a try if you're not really fond of the first one give the second approach i just mentioned a try where you go after retargeting via standard shopping commits alone but if you're already doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen but check out this video right here on one of my most recent case studies on how i scaled a brand to over six figures per month in revenue just with google ads alone